Hi guys, this is Chichi back again with another episode of Chicharito. And yes, there's a fan retaining about my hat. But anyhow, I'm gonna make a video this time on how do you actually withdraw money from IBKR. Now bear in mind that today's video, you know, even though it's on withdrawal, it's not gonna be too Instagram because the thing is that Instagram I've actually checked with the team that you know for Malaysia itself, I'm not sure about other countries, but for Malaysia, Instagram only allows you to send money overseas instead of you know, accepting money as well. So today's tutorial will be on withdrawal to a Malaysian bank account that you have. You know, this could be Hong Leong, you know, uh, CAMB, uh, M Bank, and so on. Okay, so yeah, please stay tuned, and you know, I hope this tutorial can be like a very straightforward yet you know, not too time wasting for you. So enjoy. So as with uh, any other video that you know we have, we gotta show this disclaimer because keyword lawsuits. Yes, that one word. Anyhow, I'm gonna leave this here for a few seconds, you can skip this, and we shall proceed. So, for starters, we have the overview. So, uh, in comparison to the deposit process, this is fairly easy. So, you got step one and two. Step one being, you gotta like, set up a bank account in IBKR itself for withdrawing. So, this will be your details, your bank account number, uh, what name you're gonna give it, you know, the nickname, and things like that. Step two, on the other hand, would just to be initiate the withdrawal once you have all the settings. You know how much amount you need, and you know how much it will cost for the withdrawal, etc. So yeah, it's just as simple as that. So step one, log in into your IBKR account to set up your bank account details. This is assuming once again that your IBKR account is already functional to start transacting funds. So log in as you would typically do. And you know, this is actually similar to the deposit process in my previous video. So click on the tab there, go to transfer and pay, transfer funds, and you reach this page. So instead of deposit, you go to withdrawal. Under withdrawal, you see two options, which is uh, gyro ACH. Uh, I think uh, this is account clearinghouse gyro. I forgot, I think it was global something. You got bank wire. So for today, we'll be doing bank wire. Just to note for this year, I've actually tried opening it. It's more so for people who have uh, local bank accounts. So in my case, if I were to uh, want to withdraw HKD, if you were to click this option here, it will assume that you have a Hong Kong or Macau bank account. So do take note of that. If you have like a foreign overseas bank account, then this is applicable to you. But if not, if you only have a Malaysian bank account like I do, so this option will be more applicable then. You know, just to point out, right, this actually depends as well as to what currency that you are withdrawing. I'm doing it in Hong Kong dollars because in my previous video on depositing, I actually used this currency as well. But I've actually tried clicking on a few other currencies like, you know, Euro, USD, uh, so on and so forth. These two options are generally the most common ones. And, you know, this is for people with overseas account. This is for people like, you know, the majority of us who only have local accounts. So, yeah, hope that clarifies it before we move on. So once you do click on this connect your bank button on the bank wire, you'll come to this part where it shows you the currency which you are withdrawing in. So account nickname here you know, refers to what you're gonna name it, you know, it can be like uh, HKD, withdraw, or you know, testing, one, two, three, if you're testing it out. Where will the funds be deposited? Uh, you gotta choose one, I'll show you uh, after this what needs to be filled in. And for this red box here, I want you to take note that, you know, uh, IBKR actually allow you one free withdrawal per calendar month so you know for example January you can only withdraw once February once and you know so on and the uh, first withdrawal of any kind uh, oh sorry after the first withdrawal they will actually charge you a fee of yeah specified amount here so this actually differs based on the currency that you'll be uh, withdrawing in but I yeah, do take note of this you know as a long-term investor I believe that you know one shouldn't withdraw that Often you, know, you want to minimize fees. You want to, you know, your portfolio to keep compounding. So yeah, do take note of this. You know, regardless of your objectives, I suppose. So uh, once you start filling in, so in my case, I just put it as you know, HKD withdrawal testing. Uh, where will the funds be deposited into my bank account? There's actually another option which is a uh, financial institution, but you know I'm not too sure how to actually do that because I haven't done it. So probably someone you know who's done it probably can share it in the comments. Probably those are like to people with transferwise accounts or any other uh, fintech sort of accounts, I guess. Uh, but nonetheless, let's move on. So bank, uh, your bank country is Malaysia. Uh, bank account number will be your typical bank account, you know that you give to you know friends or anyone who would like to transfer money to your account. 
Uh, and after that, you click this search here under receiving bank to search for the specific bank that you have. So if you were to click the search bank button that you know that we've uh, shown earlier, this window here will pop up, bank search. So do you search by bank name? I will put a no there. Why? So if you were to click yes, in my case, you know it's Hong Leong Bank. So I actually key in the keywords Hong Leong. A whole list of banks will pop up, you know, all Hong Leong banks in Malaysia in every state. Can you imagine that? You gotta see through one by one. So that will be the more efficient way here, right? You gotta use the Swift or the Big Code. So this Swift or Big Code here refers to a, a symbol or like a code or like an identifying code that tells IBKR uh, which bank in Malaysia, you know, in which state, in which district is this bank, you know, uh, referring to. I mean, it's this code referring to. So in my case, I actually approach uh, Hong Leong Bank. I know I actually uh, send a message to them. You can actually call them out as well to tell them that you know you're going to perform a fund transfer from overseas. What is the Swift or Big Code which they use? So in my case, they provided me uh, as HLBB my KL. So do check this with your respective banks. You know, be it, you know CMB, M Bank, or any other banks. So I key that in, and this thing pops up. It'll tell you that you know oh for Hong Kong dollar transactions. Uh, Hong Kong Bank actually has this branch here that manages that page based on the uh, SWIFT code that you provided earlier. So basically, uh, I think one option should only appear based on the uh, SWIFT code that you typed in. But if there are a few options, you might want to call your bank again. So for my side, I just clicked on that here. And it will show this window here that, you know, uh, this is the bank name, this is the bank address, uh, that's the SWIFT code, you know, for the Hong Kong side. Uh, and for the bank account number, for this one, banks generally do not give based on my experience doing uh, telegraphic transfers previously. And this thing is optional, so you don't have to bother about it. Just click submit, and the summary should come out in terms of, you know, all the details which we have filled in earlier together with your bank account number, of course. So once you have re-verified that everything is correct, just click continue. So once you have clicked continue early on, we will bring to another confirmation page, you know, but this time I'll ask you, you know, to confirm that, you know, your wire information is all correct. They'll provide you a reference ID, your account ID, which is your username, I believe. Oh, no, actually, no, it's your, you know, your user or trading account number, my bad. Uh, these are all the details which we have seen in the previous slide. You gotta key in your username, your password, you know, once you've got it all that done, just click continue, it'll bring you to the confirmation screen and tell you that you know, everything's done. Which will look something like that, you know, yeah, thank you, you know, your wire has been confirmed, uh, the instructions, you know, you've just created the bank info, there's no money move, you know, whatsoever. This just basically registers your bank details so that you can you know, reuse it the next time again. So if you're satisfied with the creation and all, you just click create transfer and you're good to go but if you are not you know in the position to transfer yet you can just click on finish and if you want to access the you know the withdrawal next time just go to fund transfer and just click on withdrawal instead of deposits that was all for step one now you know we're 50 percent there already right just another 50 percent more to go so step two it's time to create our transfer so if you know you were you know deciding to transfer right after creating it uh, click on create transfer as uh, mentioned earlier it will bring you to this window here so as you can see you can actually you know select what you have created earlier you know based on the nickname you've set or you can set up you know new uh, bank details and repeat the whole process again for you know any kind of currency that you would want to withdraw from but in my case seeing how you know, I have Hong Kong dollars set up ready and I would like to withdraw HKD Hong Kong dollars I click on select this would bring me to the make a withdrawal page here. So everything will be pre-filled, seeing how you know you've already registered it. Uh, you just gotta make sure again, yeah, okay, the bank card number seems right, and you uh, and the amount of cash that you have at the moment available for withdrawal will be displayed here in that respective currency. And you know you just key in how much you want to withdraw from. So I've chosen a classy amount of 69.69. No judgments here. Anyhow. Uh, and also, would you like to make this a recurring transaction? So for me, it's a no, you know, unless you know you got a specific reason for it. And you just click on create withdrawal. So same as the similar process earlier where we were registering the bank. Same thing as well, you know, for the withdrawal, you know, you've key in, you've created it. So you have to confirm as well by typing in your username and your password. 
and they'll provide a reference number as well as show your account ID which is related to this uh, withdrawal transaction. So you click on confirm withdrawal and it'll show you that you know thank you, your withdrawal has been submitted. And yeah, you just like go through in the details and uh, there's actually like a mention here of the cutoff times. Cutoff times mean that you know if you go past that time, you know your transaction will be processed the next business day instead. So you can actually click on yeah the funding reference here and bring you to another URL link where you can actually see all the times as well as the uh, related uh, terms and conditions related to this withdrawal process. So if you're good with that, you just click finished and you are done. Oh sorry. And this is actually the rate you know, that I've actually withdrawn uh, at the time of the transfer. So I actually transfer 16 or 69 Hong Kong dollars. This is equivalent to 3730 ringgit. So uh, as of today where I made this video, it's been around five business days, I think five, yeah. And yeah, I haven't received the money yet, so I can't really tell you know how much is actually deducted from the bank itself. And in particular this would be Hong Leong Bank so maybe other banks would have other different kinds of rates when handling uh, telegraphic transfers. So yeah that's about it. You're done. It's just as easy as that. So yeah don't stress too much about it. If you like this video you know, just you know like it, share it, subscribe, you know, press the bell icon for you know any notifications you'd like to hear from us next time. Thanks for watching again and you know do comment on what else you want to know about BKR or anything about you know stocks, financials or anything at all that you want me to take upon or you know try out. That's all for today and thanks again. See you next time, Chichiri Torrance.